Hard to spell, impossible to escape. Buclu, the name dominating Langham. The town wants to buy around 10,000 acres from the Duke of Buclu. It's one of the first and biggest public rewilding projects in Britain. Restoring hundreds of precious acres of moor here, some of the most important areas for endangered hen harrier birds of prey and rare black grouse. What we're really excited to potentially see here is a mosaic of habitats where we potentially have new planted woodland, which is native, and coming into this regenerated woodland and then carrying on right up onto some more open moorland on the top. The, the possibilities are endless for what we could do here. Repairing eroded and overdrained peat bog for better carbon storage, yes, but also creating rural jobs for people. One of the really exciting aspects of this project is that it covers so many different elements and community regeneration is a vital part of that as well. Uh, and Langham, that's had a, a difficult time recently with the decline of its textile industry, um, is looking at potentially looking at tourism as, as its future. It's capturing the energy of all ages in Langham, like 15-year-old Keris. We're hoping to make a big change and anything is possible when people can work together and put their mind to the same thing. And it is possible to buy this land and turn it into something amazing that can really make a difference. And yet the community ownership of land runs deep in the blood of Langham. It is an ancient place where play is good and it belongs to us. The spectacular annual common riding celebrates that part of the buyout land was once legally theirs. In 1759 when the Court of Session passed the right that the people had to uh, use the common land and uh, that, that's where the tradition goes back to. Yet this once common land is also now part of the colossal Buclu spread. And now the Duke wants 6.5 million for the buyout, the independently valued price. Ironic since his family was simply given vast swathes of Scotland by the King. Feudalism alive and well, says author and politician Andy Whiteman. Duke of Buccleuch and their ilk, male aristocrats, have made the laws of this country. They sat in the House of Lords. Women had no vote. It was only male landowners who had votes. So the fundamentals of land law have been set down in the interests of male aristocratic landowners. The Duke of Buccleuch owns over 200,000 acres in Scotland, 11,000 in England, a castle, two mansions, at least 12,000 other properties, paintings by Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, El Greco. Yet the people of Langham still need to raise over 5 million by this autumn. And here we are, this is where the Duke lives. Well, it's one of his places. They call it the Pink Palace, the wonderful Drumlanrig Castle. Well, you can but try. We'll knock on his door. He's an aristocrat. He may invite us in. Hello? Anybody home? The Duke's not home then. No, he's not here now. Right, OK. We tried another of his houses. No luck here either. Hello? Hello, am I speaking to uh, the Duke of Buclu? Yes, you know, I'm so sorry. You. I don't know what's wrong with you. Sorry. He said he couldn't hear us. Curiously, all further calls went to voice message. The Duke's spokesman, however, did agree to meet us. The Duke, um, as I understand it, won't talk to us. Why is that? He won't give us an interview. The Duke has stepped back from the business and I became executive chairman last year. And so it's me who's running the business. I'm the right person to speak to. Could we interview him? Well, you didn't ask him, but... I, well, I'm asking I'm, you, you can get no, a message to him. No, no, I'm telling you I'm running the business. Right. There are no answers to questions that you've asked that, that he's better placed to answer at the moment. Right. I'm running the business. Is he afraid? I'm the chairman, executive chairman of the Clue, and I'm afraid that, you know, any question that you've got can be answered by me, and I've given you the answers. They are the answers. Last year, the Duke did speak briefly about land reform. There are always going to be some people who object to large-scale land ownership. But we felt that that was dealt with uh, at the time of the establishment of the Scottish Parliament. Campaigners say Scotland urgently needs to change how its land is valued, taxed and inherited. There should be an onus, uh, a burden that 
any land that the community needs, that can make a good case for, that they get a compulsory right of acquisition at its economic value. Not its market value, but its economic value. The people of Langham have got a million pound grant to help fund the buyout, but that's just taxpayers' money going to make a rich man richer. Is it right that taxpayers' money goes into the hands of somebody who's already fabulously wealthy when the nation is trying to get its way out of COVID? Well, we're running, is, a, is that right? we're running a business and we have put the land up for sale. The communities are interested in that land. If they don't buy it, we'll sell it to someone else. But during COVID, during a crisis, why not just give the people the land? Businesses don't give assets away and we are not giving it away. Interestingly enough... Well, actually, they do. Landowners have frequently in Scotland, yeah. as well as in England, given land yeah. away, well, haven't they? The, the Langham, the Langham initiative, but they have, haven't they? The Langham Initiative people are very comfortable with the conversations we are having. They are not asking for anything for free. What they are looking for is support to do what they want to do, and sure. that's what we are doing. But the question I asked is that landowners in Scotland have given land away, Well, that's they? for other landowners. We are running a business. And that business includes a wide range of interests, including forestry, tourism and hospitality, employing more than 400 people. The Duke has shown flexibility. Pure coincidence, no doubt. But even as we filmed, the Duke extended the deadline for the town to find the millions it needs. Moreover, buyouts of Buccleuch land are well underway nearby in Newcastleton and Scotland's highest village, One Lockhead. But it all still leaves Langham trying to find more than £5 million to break free from its feudal past and its feudal present.